Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, right, I'll show you how to build an Experience Cloud site. Um, until now, you know, we've been talking about what Experience Cloud site is about. We uh, looked at the licensing model. Um, but that being said, right, I just wanted to show you how you guys can build it. So the first thing first, right, uh, you have to do, you just need to log into your org, which is pretty cool, and then go to the setup using this Gecko icon and go for uh, digital uh, experience. When you go for digital experience, right, uh, you will may not be seeing all this option because in my case, I've enabled the digital experience. That's the reason why, you know, you might say, hey, why his option is a bit different. But in your case, what might happen, uh, you go to uh, digital experience side um, and you will get an option under setting there'll be a tab, there'll be another option called setting and you'll see enable digital experience. Just click on that and once that's done, um, you know, it will take you to something like this. You'll have more options here. And another thing you have to do is that you just go to the custom domain. Um, so if you just go to the domain, um, and as you can see that I have uh, different um, sites here and my domain is enabled. So usually if you look at the my domain, right, uh, it's your domain name dot my site dot com. So this is my domain name. And so if you look at the top, so this is my domain name. Uh, so this is my domain name. So sorry, this one, right? And dot, you know, whatever the site name so um, if you're building an experience cloud right it's good to have my domain name enabled um, so yeah so that's one thing okay and then I go to the digital experience right and then go to all sites and create new so I already have a site and so I will just click on that Hopefully it will take me to the site. So if I wanted to have a new site, so I'll just click on new. Yeah. It's going to take a while, uh, but that's all right. So, so I got something like this, right? And uh, um, it's an ugly looking site, but um, when, you, when you wanted to build a site, right, you can um, build... Um, using as templates. Um, so templates could be uh, B2C. I mean, if you're building a B2C commerce stuff, then you can choose the template. Um, this is an Aura framework that's get used behind the scene. Um, so you can choose, pick and choose any um, template based on a requirement. Like I said, if you wanted to build um, a help center, then you can choose this one, help center, if you wanted to um, help the customer to uh, log a case um, and uh, view the case that's been submitted, then you can pretty much use, you know, this template or you can customize it, right? Um, so let's say for the sake of argument, I'm going to use this help center, right? And I'll click on get started and I will say help data center. Um, and I will say help center. Yeah, if I do this, we're well, gonna take you know three to four minutes uh, to build it, but that's all right. I mean, it's not a really a, a big thing because usually it depends upon the size of your org, why it's taking longer time. Um, you got different options though, right? Um, so when you once this option is over, it will take you to uh, you know settings where you can see the experience builder. Uh, you can see gamification. Well, I'll explain to you in a second what that means. Uh, then you have an option to, if you wanted to moderate the post and um, and kind of stuff. If you wanted to do the branding stuff, you can do that. Uh, so uh, I did mention about the gamification kind of stuff, right? You, if you've been uh, using Trailhead, right? So you might remember, you might know that right? every time you finish a challenge, you get a, a badge. So there's something like that just to motivate the user, depending on depending upon your business requirement and the reason why you wanted to build a website, right? So Experience Cloud is a pretty um, handy way where you can 
you know, leverage your Salesforce data to user, which otherwise they won't have access to, right? So um, I've been I've been talking to one of my mate who works in an insurance company. Um, he's a Salesforce architect. So he was telling me that there's a lot of demand of experienced cloud side uh, in an ex- in insurance space because you know obviously you as a user uh, may want to see the policies or you may want to you know talk to a customer agent or you know instead of you know going with the old route of phone right you can go log into your, the website you can put your uh, some number, insurance number, and you can view it, right? So you can pretty, do pretty much using Salesforce. Okay, so um, this is something what you get, right? As I already mentioned, you get, you know, build brands, you know, customize your site page, monitor posts, and dashboards, right? Okay, so that's great. So let's go to the, the builder. So I wanted to use the builder. So using which you build your stuff, yeah? And let's look at a few options, right? Just to give you an idea of what it, uh, each option means. Um, so this is how the, the side looks like, right? If you if you don't like the color of it, the background color, or the theme behind it, we can change it. I'll just show you how to do that. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, so um, like I said, right? This is just a, a a template I've used. You can you can change the image. You can do something like that. I mean, this kind of remind me, you know, back in the days when I used to do some tiny, you know, WordPress development. I mean, not really WordPress developer, but just wanted to build something for me. So I, I used WordPress and um, yeah, it kind of reminded me that. Anyways, so you get something like this, right? Then we have uh, these options. Um, you can drag and drop components, which is pretty cool. Um, it's same like your flow, right? So you, if you wanted to drag and drop, you pick something and, and drop it in the screen. So that will do the job, um, and then you will do themes, right? So, if, like I said, if I don't like the the theme of it, I can change it. So, if I wanted to say "Welcome to Paradise," whatever that means, but um, you can activate the theme. Um, so, once you do that, um, so you get something like this, right? A lot of flowers and kind of stuff. Okay, so. Um, that's great, right? And then you can go to the page structure just to see how it looks like. Like this is a, you know, uh, the menus and and you know, kind of stuff. Okay, and content and sidebar and sidebar you know, alternative, whatever. So you can change the stuff and pend it. So this is. I mean, I'm not going to teach you how to how to do both. You know, end to end today i just wanted to give you an introduction how it looks like just to give you a basic walkthrough right then over the coming episode we'll look into the details aspect of it because this is pretty basic right obviously the you wanted to take the certification so that you can become good at this stuff right you can build experience cloud side and it can help your customers okay so now we got a setting here right so you got a general setting you got theme just pretty much what we changed, uh, you know, two minutes ago. Um, and then you have site title. You know, if you wanted to change the site title, you can change it. Um, and it's not published. It's just still in preview, so you haven't published it. And um, then you have languages, right? Language you want to support. Um, or you can add it, right? So sometimes you wanted to add, say, Aramaic. No, not Aramaic. Amharic. You got Armenian kind of stuff, right? Let's say I wanted to put Icelandic, right? I don't speak Icelandic language, but just <laughs> okay for the sake of it, I just did it. Um, all right, import test and export test. It's it just get more into it. it there is more to it, right? But just to tell you, right, you have an option to choose. Uh, then you have navigation, right? You have default navigation. Um, if you wanted to add extra stuff to your menu, uh, like you can see um, on the right here, we have the topics and kind of stuff, and you can change it if you want. So you can edit it, and uh, not this one, sorry, this one, default navigation. So like you have home and topics, if you wanted to add menu items, I would say, hey, this is in I want to see the case. And it says Salesforce object, right? I just wanted to say case. And 
the full stream, okay, whatever it is. Um, yeah. You see, there's a change that's going on behind the scene. You got a case here, right? Um, so then you have mobile publisher, then you have, you know, uh, SEO, then SMS Connect, uh, then you have advanced options, you know, you can do all kind of analytics and kind of stuff, security and developer name information. Yeah, and that's, I mean, it won't do anything, but I'm just saying this is how you make it. And then you have all these options, right? You have, um, you have search and I don't know if you do anything about it. If you click on it, it will, I think it will take you there. Right, to something. Go back. So file is an object, and uh, for this one, right? So contact center. So if I if I wanted to do the the preview, right? So let me do the preview. So you get something like this. If I go to home, it will take you to home, right? Uh, so I don't think so anything in the topics, but let's have a look anyways. It didn't work. Maybe the case won't work either. But that's fine. I mean, we can work on it. We can fix it uh, in the com upcoming episode. But So this is how, in general, you normally build a very basic. If you wanted to publish it, you can publish it. And there are a lot more to it, right? You can specify your uh, permission sets and other kind of stuff to it. So this is what you've seen today just a very one person aspect of it so there are a lot more to it we're going to look into it in the next episode we're going to look into it to talk about the permission set and other stuff as well um and we probably look to enhance a bit right so um that's pretty much what i wanted to cover today just to give you an idea right how it looks like how easy to make a site um and i tell you guys yeah, experience cloud is in huge demand um not experience cloud as such. You need to have Salesforce skills, right? That's the first thing. You can't just have it. I I got experience cloud, but I got no clue about the Salesforce. That's not really going to work, right? You just need to know, uh, you know, Salesforce stuff, usual stuff. And then if there's a requirement, you should be able to pick this up. This is a pretty simple stuff to do. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much I wanted to cover in this episode. So I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday. Adios. Thank you.